Hey, what's up everyone? It's Gary, your bearded woodworker. My brother-in-law, the bearded giant, he and I just spent the last four days in the forest gathering firewood. And uh, he sent me a picture from Reddit or Pinterest or something like that of a easy log rack. And I'm going to attempt to build that right now. And it just consists of three center blocks, uh, two eight-foot pressure-treated uh, Two by fours. I don't know if they have to be pressure treated or not, but since it's the bottom where the wood's going to sit on, I decided to go with that. And then uh, four two by fours, and I cut them down to six feet. Uh, I didn't think it should be any taller than about six feet. Uh, I bought eight foot pieces and cut them down to six feet just because it, it was about a dollar or two cheaper. You could buy a 12 foot two by four, cut it right in half, and boom, all you need is get two of those. Um, but it was cheaper to buy four two by four eight footers than two twelve by uh, two by four twelve footers. Anyways, let's see if I can't uh, replicate what I saw and see if it works out. Check it. So I'm gonna take the eight foot piece and I'm going to lay it down there to know where to put my um, center blocks. So this area that I have here used to have uh, bushes and tons of uh, briars growing everywhere. So I ripped that out a season ago and then I laid down some uh, fabric and then about two inches of gravel on top of that. And those damn briars still came up. So I ended up spraying it yesterday to hopefully kill all the roots that's underneath there. So now we got our eight foot piece and I'm gonna put a center block on either side and then one in the middle. The idea of this rack is there's no fasteners, no screws, no bolts or anything. It's strictly held together with the pressure of the wood. So now I'm going to take these six footers and I'm going to stick them in the uh, center blocks. So here's the idea that when you set all your firewood on here, that's going to hold this center block and this center block over here, it's going to hold it flat so when you start putting weight on the edges, it's not going to uh, tip over. So there it is. Not sure if the six feet is too tall or not. After I've uh, put it together, it does look a little tall. Uh, I think the picture I saw was like four or five feet, but I'm gonna give this a try. If it gets too sketchy, then I just don't go up as high with it. So now we've got a uh, lumber, or lumber, we've got rounds that I picked up last season and we rented a splitter. We're gonna split all that. I'll load it and I'll let you know if it works out or not. Stay tuned. As you can see, it, it's full. Uh, I'm six feet, so I cut the boards, or I'm six foot five, I cut the boards six feet, but then you got this extra eight inches on the bottom. So if you are gonna do this six foot 
two by fours, you might want to consider how tall you are and how high you want to uh, put your arms up to stack firewood. It's a uh, it's wobbly, but I think it'll uh, it'll work. So till then, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I urge you to click that subscribe button right now. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And we'll talk to you later. Bearded Woodworker, out.